Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart QuickBooks Desktop Connector. And in today's uh, video tutorial, we'll be showing you how the uh, OpenCart platform based uh, web store uh, can be used so as to synchronize the orders, uh, the products, and and the customers uh, of your OpenCart store uh, with the QuickBooks uh, Desktop Connector. So we'll be showing you that as well. And uh, apart from that, we'll also be seeing how the admin can initially set up the uh, uh, QuickBooks desktop uh, connector for his OpenCart web store. So uh, before we proceed further to the uh, storefront to show you how this particular uh, plugin uh, works and how you can uh, basically synchronize your customers, products and orders at uh, QuickBooks desktop using the uh, QuickBooks desktop itself. Uh, let me give you a small gist about the same. So basically, it's a one-time purchase accounting software that needs to be installed on your desktop computer or a laptop. So the it's the QuickBooks desktop version. And uh, considering the major advantages of the QuickBooks desktop version, uh, we have integrated it with the OpenCart. And uh, using this plugin, uh, the OpenCart web store admin would be able to synchronize his uh, open guard store customers products and order details with the quickbooks itself and uh, whenever a new user registers or you have added a new product uh, or basically you, um, whenever an order is being placed by the customers all of this data is synchronized with your quickbooks uh, desktop system so uh, that was it about the gist and uh, now let's see how this particular quickbooks uh, desktop connector works so uh, and uh, before we proceed further uh, to show you the workflow so uh, you can see that uh, we have to follow certain uh, uh, points as well so uh, first of all you should have the quickbooks desktop enterprise uh, being installed on your computer and apart from that uh, you also need to have the quickbook uh, uh, web and uh, basically it's a uh, uh, can be downloaded basically from the uh, links that we have provided here. So here you can see that we have the QuickBooks uh, Desktop Enterprise and the QuickBook uh, Web Connector. And you can check these links and then install the uh, both of them. That's the QuickBook Web Connector and the uh, QuickBooks Desktop Connector. Thereafter, you need to enable the verbose login for the QuickBooks uh, Web Connector uh, for your desktop. And uh, to check that, you just need to navigate to this particular link that we have provided. Uh, within the user guide of this uh, particular plugin and uh, also uh, this plugin only works when uh, it's uh, working on the SSL certified sites and uh, uh, both of the QuickBooks uh, desktop app and the QuickBooks web uh, connected application must be simultaneously running on your system and uh, you'll have to create a new company and uh, uh, whichever company that is open at the uh, time of data synchronization the data will be synchronized within that only and uh, that's much so we'll just show you the other options as well and uh, so uh, let's go to the back end panel for our uh, open cut web store first and uh, they will be synchronizing and uh, configuring the uh, quickbooks uh, connected desktop uh, plugin itself so uh, so uh, I'll be entering my username and password for my OpenCart web store admin backend panel and then we'll be logging into our account by tapping the login button. So uh, after the successful installation of this particular plugin to make the initial configurations, the uh, web store owner needs to navigate through extensions and then extensions and the extension installer. Uh, so we need to go to the extensions basically, I'm sorry for that and under the uh, extension type uh, we need to choose uh, modules and uh, from here we'll be able to select our quickbooks uh, thing so we'll just scroll down and here you can see that we have the web cool quickbooks desktop connector just tap here on the edit button and that would bring up the configuration settings for the same also uh, after the success successful installation you'll have this quickbooks desktop option on the side panel and if you tap that up under that we have three different options one is the customers products and the orders so we'll take you through them uh, one by one after we have done with this uh, particular configuration here so uh, 
So here the admin would set the status of the particular plugin as enabled or disabled to use, choose enable to dis, uh, disable the one, you can uh, choose the disabled option. Then we have the uh, time zone. So here basically you need to set the time zone for the uh, QuickBook company that you have. And uh, then you can set up your uh, app name. Basically you can enter the app name as per your own requirement. You can set it as uh, anything that you want for the QuickBooks web connector basically. Then we have the app description. This can be also entered uh, as per your requirement for the QuickBooks uh, web connector. Then we have the QuickBook web connector username. So uh, this can also be set up uh, as per your own requirement there. No uh, specific uh, requirements. You can add any name there as well. Then we have the QuickBook uh, web connector uh, password. And for this, uh, you can also uh, enter any of the uh, data there and uh, the same will then be used for the app validation so if you set the quickbook web connected password as password for example then uh, while connecting to the uh what do you say as uh, uh to the app uh, to the quickbooks uh, web connected app you need to enter the same password so as to uh validate the uh, app then we have the scheduler so basically here you need to enter the uh time uh, or the duration for the web connector uh, scheduler in minutes and the value must be greater or equal to 5 and then we have the uh, sync slot number and it must be between 3 and 30 so you can choose that up according to your own requirements and uh, here you just need to tap on the save buttons after making the initial configuration settings and uh, after we have filled up all the info uh, the admin will just tap here on the save button as I've told you and uh, this would save the uh, configuration first and uh, only after that will the uh, download button for the QuickBooks uh, web connector be visible for use uh, to the admin and here you can see the uh, generate QWC file for the web connector and uh, uh, let me tap here on the download button and here we have the open card quick uh, web connector file now uh, let's see how the admin can uh, create a QuickBook web connector app so for that uh, after downloading the file uh, before that we just enter the data save date this particular uh, button was enabled we downloaded this particular file now uh, what we need to do is we need to open the uh, web connector QuickBooks web connector on your computer or your laptop so I'll just open the same I'll open the web connector and after opening the web connector we'll be uh, adding a new application within that so uh, this is the QuickBooks web connector and uh, right now we have uh, set one app here so we can create another one by tapping here on the add an application button and that will bring up uh, this uh, particular and uh, we just downloaded the open card QWC file here so I'll just navigate to my downloads and uh, we'll select this file for the QuickBooks so web uh, connector and uh, and uh, after that we'll be seeing this uh, particular prompt uh, as you can see for the access permissions and uh, here uh, the admin needs to allow them to create uh, his uh, first application and uh, after that you'll be able to see your created application so we'll be tapping here on the OK button uh, the file we tapped here on the OK button and uh, the after we have this particular uh, pop up once again wherein we'll have to choose the option that say yes always allow access access even if uh, QuickBooks is not running and then we need to check the allow this application to access personal data such as social security numbers and the customer credit card info then we just need to tap here on the continue button and thereafter lastly we'll be able to see the access confirmation pop up as you can see so here we just need to tap on the uh, done button and uh, a new application would be created you can see your application like this as i've already shown you so uh, this is how the uh, application is visible and uh, so after you have created the application for the first time then you have to update your created app and to update you need to select the check box uh, for the app and uh, enter the password that you have set uh, for the quickbooks uh, web connector password in the model configuration settings and that would be like this 
so you need to check this option here and uh, then here you need to enter your password uh, for the uh, QuickBooks that we have uh, just set within the uh, configuration settings uh, here's the password uh, that needs to be entered so uh, let's go back and uh, the particular app would be uh, basically updated and uh, for updating the app on the regular intervals you can also keep the auto run column checkbox checked for auto uh, run checkbox and uh, at the set in mode uh, set uh, interval time here uh, and according to that uh, uh, the app would be uh, getting auto updated then thereafter you just need to open your books uh, desktop on your system and you'll have to log in and navigate uh, through edit and uh, preferences thereafter navigating to the pre preferences after this you'll have to navigate to the uh, sales tax and then uh, company preferences sales tax and then company preferences and click on the add sales tax item and that will bring up a pop-up and uh, here you'll have to choose the type uh, sell section uh, for the uh, sales tax item from the drop down so here you need to enter the sales tax name you can keep any anything but should not be uh, open card tax lastly make sure to set the tax rate as 0 0.0 percent and uh, then just click here in the ok button thereafter uh, uh, after we've tapped ok on the previous uh, step uh, now the sales tax name uh, would be created and uh, you'll need to have to select this uh, sales tax uh, name in the step uh, 9 that we have so here we have here you need to tap and you need to choose your sales tax that uh, you've just created so here we have the sales tax one so from here we'll just uh, choose our sales tax and uh, that's much for the QuickBooks uh, desktop uh, configuration and uh, how to set that up along with the uh, webhooks uh, connector there. Now uh, let's go to the admin backend panel. Let's see what different options are there to the admin for uh, this particular plugin for uh, the OpenCart. That's the OpenCart QuickBook desktop connector. So uh, here we have the QuickBooks uh, desktop. So we'll just open the customers, products, and the orders. Let's go through each of them one by one. So here you can see that we are on the customer synchronization page and uh, under this section the admin can see a list of all of the uh, synchronized customers uh, from the open card store to the QuickBooks tester and the admin can filter the customers using uh, various filters uh, like uh, only enabled customer or uh, all customer apart from that you can uh, I'm sorry for that basically we can filter it uh, using the open card uh, customer ID name email and the QuickBooks uh, desktop customer ID as well and uh, then tapping here on the filter would filter out the customers and uh, uh, the admin can also export uh, the uh, open guard store customer list by clicking the export customer uh, button that you can see here so if i tap here on the export customer button you can see that the one customer synchronization process has been uh, completed it would refresh and come back to the same section once again so basically, uh, while you're tapping in the export customer, you can choose whether you want to uh, export all the customers or only the enabled customers. So uh, according to that, you can tap here on the export uh, customer button. So you can see that only the enabled customers are being uh, synchronized now. And uh, from here, you can uh, admin can also delete uh, the customers uh, uh, that the admin wants to remove. So you can just check these options and uh, then uh, you can tap here on the delete customers to delete the customers let me tap here and okay so we had these two Jennifer and the other one so all of those have been uh, deleted and uh, it gets basically into the uh, uh, what we say as the deletion queue now uh, that was the customers now let's come to the uh, product section same for this one as well the admin can export the products uh, by choosing all products or only enable products as per his uh, uh, requirement so if I tap here on the export products we'll see that uh, the products have been uh, successfully synchronized uh, and these are the only enable products apart from that uh, the admin can uh, search the products using the product ID QuickBooks desktop product ID model or the name 
and here you can see the complete list of uh, products and the QuickBooks so here we have the product ID and the QuickBooks desktop product ID and uh, this is the ID when the product is synchronized to the QuickBooks uh, desktop so what happens is that uh, after uh, when we are tapping here in the export product depending upon this particular section here uh, after that when we tap here on the export uh, product what happens is that the, the products would be get added to the export queue and whenever the quickbooks uh, web connector app runs the products uh, will be added to the quickbooks and uh, that's uh, for the uh, for the uh, for the uh, what we say as the product section and lastly we have the orders and similarly here you the admin can export the orders uh, can delete the uh, orders th that have already been synchronized uh, and can filter the orders using the order ID and the QuickBooks uh, desktop order ID. So uh, here you can see that we have the QuickBooks uh, desktop order ID, the product IDs and the product names as well. And uh, for example, if we want to export the orders, we just tap here on the export orders button. And we can see that the orders have been uh, uh, successfully synchronized. You can also delete any of the orders by first uh, checking the orders that you want to delete and then tapping here on the delete button. So uh, that was about the uh, the orders section. So basically, under the QuickBooks desktop, we can synchronize customers, products, and orders as required by the OpenGut Web Store owner using his uh, des uh, desktop uh, QuickBooks connect uh, QuickBooks app. Basically, uh, you can check the uh, live demo and uh, the user guide and the store link for more info and uh, for uh, any doubts as well. So after we have set up the uh, QuickBooks, we have uh, checked the orders, uh, products, and uh, uh, the uh, what we say as the customers. Uh, now the uh, admin can log into his uh, desktop uh, QuickBooks connector, and uh, after login, uh, he'll be able to uh, manage uh, the products, customers, and the orders. So uh, basically, if the admin has uh, manually or auto sync the products, depending on that or the orders and the customers from the Opercast store to the QuickBooks, then the admin can log into their QuickBooks desktop application to check the synchronized data. So for the orders, you can see that uh, you'll have to uh, uh, navigate to the side panel and tap on the customers after login to your uh, QuickBooks company. And here the admin can check the orders that uh, will be visible customer-wise, as you can see here, and tapping any the customer brings up the customer info, the uh, sales receipt, and the rest of the uh, details uh, for that particular order as well. So uh, after that, uh, the uh, admin can also tap on the sales uh, receipt, any of the receipts, and that would bring up the complete details of the order, as you can see here for that particular order. And here the admin can see the product option name and the value selected by the uh, customers while placing the order, the uh, payment method, shipping method, shipping charge, and the open card tax as well. So uh, the tax basically would not be visible under the tax section. It's because the QuickBooks API doesn't allow uh, editing the tax section. Then uh, displaying data on the sales receipt. And uh, for that, you need to go to the uh, formatting uh, within your company options. And then uh, you'll have to uh, go to the manage a template. And this comes up. And uh, thereafter, you can uh, edit the things here and tap OK and uh, you can also uh, make additional customizations here apart from that and uh, lastly you'll have to select the options basically and uh, under the header for the uh, custom sales receipt like the uh, payment method ship via ship to and sold and uh, that should be visible basically in the sales receipt as you can see here so from here we can choose those options and uh, kindly note that the shipping method code would uh, be displayed in the ship uh, box only and under the columns tab here uh, uh, similarly the admin needs to select the product details to show the uh, details of the product on the sales receipt itself and similar is uh, to for the products to check the list of synchronized products uh, the admin can navigate through list and then item list and that brings up the complete list of the products that are synchronized with the quickbooks desktop and uh, double tapping any of the products uh, to edit the product details as you can see here we can uh, do that and similarly for the customers as well uh, you just need to navigate to the customers and then uh, you can see the synchronized uh, customer data with the QuickBooks desktop from your open card store 
you can choose any of the customers there and that will bring up the uh, complete uh, details of that particular uh, customer and uh, basically that's how the admin can uh, integrate the quickbooks desktop connector to manage uh, 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 the accounting and uh, synchronizing the orders products uh, sales receipts and the customers there and that can then be accessed by the uh, open source web store owner on his uh, computer or a laptop wherein he has the open card quickbooks desktop connector uh, installed and uh, that was much about this uh, particular plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow and if you have any uh, questions queries or suggestions regarding this plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise it again at webcool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead